Can I throw it in the river? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Firewatch. I am Titan Roland. How's it going? So, um, this is the game that you voted me to play. Um, so yeah this is the most requested game that you want me to play so last monday i've um, put up a poll asking which of the games that i've yet played you want me to see me play um to tell you the truth i did create a poll link but that was just one thing okay i posted in other forms and there's like everybody's divided opinions and some games were even not in the poll so we even get like Pokemon and stuff like that but Firewatch is actually the most requested so in case you guys don't even realize you probably think why are you playing Alien Isolation it's like no 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 okay so this is the most requested game so I'm not gonna put up any proof because obviously well I know I'm not saying it's too much of an effort but I think you know I just thought I'd like to try this out but there are other games that I would really like to play as well but yeah this is the most requested definitely 100% anyway so Firewatch this just came out um, a couple weeks ago um, just downloaded right now and there's been some favorable reviews from critics and users so without further ado let's play alright okay now um, it says continue but I'm gonna start um, I'm gonna start new, start refresh, so I sort of knew. Anyway, it's still recording, isn't it? Yep, that's good. Alright. I just turned it down just in case I need to. Hear. Obviously. Campo Santo presents. In cooperation with Panic Inc. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Mm -hmm. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, that's me, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, oh, so you got a choice to make. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. What do you think? What would most drunk men say to a girl when they're drunk? I, I think that's the most common. You, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down the waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Ooh, that was quick. Do you need a dating site for that? Anyway. Alright, so we're in the elevator, so we're in the lift. So press R2, so this is your backpack. Alright, okay. So, wait, this is actually the car park. So, this is, is this my truck? Yeah, that's my truck. So, put my backpack in there. And, did I say backpack? Backpack. Alright. Okay, so you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. For a man, life is good. For Julia, life is good too. Anyway, Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So, you pick up the beagle, and she names him Bucket. Or you adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. 
I never had a beagle, but I do have a German Shepherd in the house, so um, German Shepherd will do. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julian on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julian loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pair all rolled into one. Oh, I like you like that. That's so good. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, big Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? Well, if you if you enjoy your relationship, maybe have children would be the best thing that's ever happened to, to a couple. So yeah, that would be pretty good. Obviously, there's no right or wrong. Everybody has different opinions to this. So that's what I think anyway. I do love kids. Like, smiley, happy kids. But it's too much responsibility for me, so... Obviously. Obviously not for me. Anyway, in that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Okay, so you go out of the truck. So in the forest. So, for fair... Trailhead. So, two, there's a. Oh my god. I want to make sure this is. Nineteen eighty is the first thing night, and Julie is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried again, angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, or you ignore her. Hmm. I think it's rude to ignore, so I'd just say get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. Well, that doesn't go down too well. 1981. Julian still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You throw it like a Victoria's Secret model. Well, it's got to be He-Man. You look awesome. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Doesn't it get darker by the minute? It's a very... Look at that sunset! Or sunrise, hmm, I don't know. 1982, during the summers, you and Julie enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. Maybe moo fuck the, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. As much as I like to beat his goddamn face in, I would scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and friends to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Do you convince her not to take the job? Or agree if she commutes back and forth? Mm. 
Well, it's all about making her happy, so I would say agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. It works. <laughs> you watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. Good. Okay, what do I need to do? Do I need to pick something up? Can I walk? Oh, a journal. Ah, so this is what Henry looks like. Mayhem is getting older, he's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. So 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class, her research is in shambles, she drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julie who calls you dope and you unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. She counts seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel and the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour care, a home, it sits with you for a couple of months. So, you decide to move her into a full time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Yeah. I'm going to take care of her by myself. Okay, so we keep on walking through the forest. I don't know if that works. Oh, you better hurry up. Voice slowing down a bit. Oh, there's a deer. Scared the deer away. Okay. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Yep. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. I'm gonna trust her. You go to the same bar in the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila the bartender everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you are stopped at a D DUI checkpoint. You blow a 10 and I'll take it to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it.
and now we're loading. Well, that's a nice uh, bit of story there about um, about two people starting out young, falling in love, how getting a dog, and then all of a sudden you have this um, sweet, sweet girl, obviously starting to get. I think she was depressed. I think. I don't know, but. She said that she couldn't remember things very often, so she may be suffering from severe amnesia or depression or whatever, I don't know. <clears throat> right, so we're going up to the tower. Open the door. We're going to turn on the power. So where's the power? Light switch. Alright, is that on? Oh no, that's the light switch. Right, where's the power gone? There's a radio. There's a fire. Single mind. We can't pick that up yet. Ah, there's a generator switch. There we go. Ah! Right, the power is on. Oh! Alright, here we go. Alright, so once you held L2, wasn't it? Yeah, L2, and then release L2 to talk to Delia. Alright, reply. Oh, um, you've killed three ex husbands, you're rebelling against mom, nobody back home can stand you. Oh, uh, what? I didn't want to pick that. Hold on a minute. Good night. Oh. Good night, job. Welcome to the job. Oh, okay. Alright, so. Firewatch. Day one. Alright, and so it begins. So it begins, guys. Day one. Day one at the Fire Watch Tower. I'm going to have a bit of cream crackers. Mm. You can actually pick items up and you can just throw it. What if I can knock this over? Oh. Alright. So, okay, the first thing. This one, a map table. Alright. Oh, 
confirm what um, Denial has seen. Uh, what do I need to do? Hold on. Turn to the left. Go to the... I can't see them. W where? Oh, hold on a minute. Nothing. Uh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Wait, where is it gone? Alright, hold the radio. Alright, just go outside. No, I can't go outside. Right, hold on. What am I seeing? Is it on the outside? Bleach? Can I throw this? No, I thought that would break the glass. Hold on. What about if I go to bed? Truck Alaska. Hmm. Right, what am I seeing? What's going on? Hold on. What if I zoom in? Ah, uh, to the rest. Right, okay. To the rest. There's fireworks. Ah, here we go. There's fireworks. Yeah, and that's your job. One, two, three, four. Right, okay. Can I leave the door now? Right, let's go. Right, so I need to go and find a box. Alright. Okay, so. Well, this is cool. This is like. This is like a very big tree house, but it's not a tree house, it's a tower. So. Alright. So we're gonna go down. Wait a minute. He's actually grabbing onto the ledge here. Has he got a poor sense of balance? Hmm, time will tell. Right, read the map. So, I need to find the rope. Right. I need to find the rope. So, I'm at the Two Forks Lookout. Alright, so, let's go rest. All right, let's go. 7.7 .7 miles to the rest. Okay, so you use your compass and you use your map to find a rope in N. Hold on a minute. Does it actually say... Let's have a look. All right, so if I go to the rest, that means I'm going towards that Jonesy Lake. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. So apparently... Oh, I don't need to do that. Right, let's try this again. Do I have the radio? No. Okay, I can't do anything about the radio, so I just need to go and find the rope. Right, what is this? Right, so I'm from the Two Forks, and I'm heading towards Jonesy Lake. Hold on a minute, is that, is that one there? That's it, there we go. Not bad. You see? Right, let's open. The code is 1234. Maybe this game is a test of memory as well. Or unless it's, we already got it written down somewhere. Alright, here we go. So, copy information. Alright, so, map is updated. So take the notes. Let's read the notes. It says, 
Ron, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Okay, let's keep. Alright, um, there's the old rope which we need. We need to deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Can we pick the pine cone? Let's pick up a granola bar. Eat. You can eat them as well. Wow. Okay, pine cone. Pick up. Examine. Ho oh ho. Alright, drop. Okay. Right, let's go find where it is. Alright, we can't find it anywhere. Okay, uh, to be honest, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great, but I'm actually really into this. Use the map and the compass. So I need to go to the west, basically. So the fireworks are setting off in the rest, so I need to go to the rest. So I think the fireworks is setting off at Jonesy Lake. So, um, so this is where I am now. So I just need to, so I just need to go this way. So this could be a while. Hold on a minute, I'm getting closer now. Maybe it's on top of the rocks. Can I do some climbing? No, you can't. You can't climb anything just yet. Alright. Let's load them and let's run. Let's run, 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 run. I've been recording this for 27 minutes, so that should be a good enough time. Right, I can hear the fireworks. So I just need to follow this path now. I think it's setting off at Jonesy Lake. There it is. Right, there it is. I can see it. I think it's at Jonesy Lake. Now hold on, it's a bit steep. Let's see. But how am I gonna get down there? Oh, the rope. I got to use the rope. Let's report. Let's let's bring some humor into this. <laughs> okay. There we go. So this is where this is the All oh, right. So basically Shitty Bass is gonna get me killed, Hill. Alright, let's rapple. Good luck, careful. I feel like the rope is gonna snap. Oh, okay. Alright. Yep, I thought the rope was gonna snap. Ooh. Okay. Right, report the climbing incidents. Ow! Hey, Alright, okay, so let's um, open the map and see. Right, where are we at? Okay, so yeah, I think the fireworks are setting off at Jonesy Lake. It has to be, right? It has to be. Right, let's go. Right, let's go this way. Report the meadow. Maybe keep heading, maybe keep heading west toward the lake. 
That's it. Well, there's a campfire here. And there's like a, a beer bowl. Risky. Pick up. Save for later. So it goes in your backpack. Alright, here we go. Uh, can we stomp out? Yeah, we can stomp out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's keep going. There's someone's bra. Can I throw it in the river? <laughs> Ladettes. Could be anything. And there's music in the background too. There's another bra. Yep, there we go. We found them. You know, I was right about not beating them up because... Boombox! <laughs> there we go, we're scaring them off now. Find a way back to the two forks lookouts. All right, so let's have a look. Now you see two. Uh, let me put it down. All right, so that's the girl sorted out. Done already. Look at that view. Look at that view. Look at that Jonesy Lake. Amazing. Anyway, um, okay, um, I'm gonna have to end the gameplay there, but um, I think there'll be more Firewatch videos to come anyway. So, yeah, this is the yeah, this is Firewatch. So thank you for watching. Anyway, I, I keep repeating words again and again because I've not got enough words to say. Um, <laughs> anyway. If you like any of my videos, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. There'll be more videos, of course, including this. Um, maybe the next day or week or so. Anyway, um, please tune in tomorrow for the start of the Mario Weekend. Mario Kart 8 and Super Mario Maker. I'm looking forward to playing those games anyway. Also, um, also there's the Uncharted multiplayer that's going live. So there'll be videos of that as well so please look out for the entire multiplayer beta videos coming so yeah anyway this has been time Ward and whenever you do keep fire watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow peace